Hello, SBCT. I'm your assistant principal, Nick Laskowski. I'd like to talk to you about four topics, attendance, safety, transportation, and student records. You know that our programs are a career readiness program and attendance here is a little bit less like attendance at a school and a little bit more like attendance at a job. Every boss, every supervisor wants to make sure that you show up on time and are present every day that you're assigned to work. And we feel the same way. If you're absent, the first thing to do is make sure you communicate with your instructor to make sure that they know that you'll be, able, you'll be absent and you have a plan to keep up on your work. In many cases, if you're absent, you can keep up on your work using Canvas, double checking assignments and sending messages to teachers. You might need to provide documentation of your absence if you're out ill or maybe you're away for a school event like a test you have to take at your home campus. If that's the case, either call our student absence line 723 4260, or you can email svctattendance at metroed.net. If you know your individual site registrar's name, you can also email them directly and they can help record the documentation of your absence. Being on time is super important in every one of our classes. In most of our classes, punctuality counts towards the career readiness grade, just like it would for a job where your supervisor wants to make sure that you're on time and ready for work every day in uniform. If you do find yourself needing to arrive more than 20 minutes late on any given day, walk by the student services office where we can produce a tardy pass for you and adjust the attendance as necessary. You know that I coordinate our campus safety initiatives. It's very important to us that you are safe in everything that you do in our shops, around the tools, and on our campus, including that all of our machines and operations and chemicals and materials are safe, as well as that all the people here are safe and treating you correctly. We do operate as a professional workplace, and that means we take all sorts of safety problems or concerns very seriously. We need your assistance to work together. If you spot something that appears to be unsafe or someone who appears to be treating you or others incorrectly, please inform us right away so that we can correct it and help make sure that this is a safe workplace and a safe learning space for everyone. Of course, just like with any school, vaping, nicotine use, or marijuana use of any kind is never permitted on campus. If you do have concerns of any of these natures about something that seems unsafe or anyone treating you poorly, we have an app you can use to report these concerns anonymously, and it's called Stop It. The Stop It app allows you to make an anonymous report of things like bullying or harassment or an unsafe condition or a staff member you think may have treated you poorly. Both students, staff, adults, and visitors can use the Stop It app. It's a free download available for both iOS and Android, and it will ask you for an access code. Use access code SVCTE to connect with our school, and you can use this at any time to report an incident or a concern. The concern will come directly to school administrators, where we'll be able to read it and reply to you, also anonymously, where we, you will see who we are, but we do not know who you are unless you choose to identify yourself. There's a link to the Stop It app on the SVCT website, or you can search for it directly in your app store. Again, the app's access code to the Stop It app is SVCTE. I also coordinate transportation for our school. We know that students arrive here and depart here in many different ways. We are a closed campus, meaning that you cannot leave or arrive, especially late in the middle of the class period. Um, most especially, it means that you cannot receive things like deliveries of snacks or food or meals during class. We also cannot accept visitors to class. Many students arrive here using the school buses. We take behavior on the school buses very seriously. Please, of course, follow all of the driver's directions and follow all of the guidance listed in our student handbook and all of our best expectations to show career readiness on the bus. One of those bits is that we need to wear face coverings at all time on the bus, which means we may not eat or drink on the bus. If you find yourself driving to campus and needing to park a vehicle here, we use a virtual parking pass system similar to other cities in the area. This means you have no hang tag or sticker you need to put in your vehicle. Instead, fill out an online form that goes to the site registrars. We will ask you to give us the make and model, color and license plate of your car or more than one car if you have that. And we'll record it in our database to know that when it parks on campus, it's yours and it's permitted to park here. That website to fill out that form is tinyurl.com slash SVCTE parking. 
Of course, if you park on campus, please park in all designated areas. If you ride a bicycle to campus, we have bike racks in a few places and are working to install more and better bike racks. Please feel free to ride in the correct direction following traffic flow on all of the black asphalt surfaces. If you find yourself moving along the concrete corridors of campus, please walk your bike or skateboard or scooter. We report your grade from the SVCT class to your home school approximately every six weeks. We have a progress grade that is reported at six weeks into the semester and at 12 weeks. And then the final grade for the semester is reported at the end of each, the, sem the fall semester and then the spring semester. Your teachers report grades from the SVCT class based on all of your assignments listed in Canvas. They report that to the SVCT registrars who record them on our records and transfer them to your home schools through either the homeschool registrars or the homeschool counselors. That then is placed on your homeschool report card and eventually on your homeschool transcript. If you have questions about how your grades are reported or your GPA or how your credits are recorded, check with your homeschool staff first. Your grades are owned by your homeschool where you are officially registered and they come from the teacher here. I've listed a few places and mentioned a few places on our campus that I'd like to point out on our map, which is also available on our website. If you need to visit a registrar in the student services department to sign in late and get a tardy pass or to update our parking pass information or any other piece of information about attendance or attendance documentation, you can visit the student services office, which is located in the north portion of the 800 building in the center of this map. Later this year, we hope to be using the hub to serve food produced by the culinary programs. You will see that referenced in the south part of the 800 building. And we also look forward to the opening of the student store, which is on the northeast corner of the 800 building in room 820. Anytime that you find yourself needing to move around the campus during class time, please get a pass from your teacher or the office staff who's directing you. You can also see on this map the parking areas that are open for student parking on the west side of our campus or the south. That's the left or the bottom of this map. Please follow all parking directions 